it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the Welcome back to Dirtworks TV. What's up, guys? Do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Got tons of new content coming out, and we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Hopefully, uh, once we can continue to get some of this growth going, we'll do some giveaways and add to the fun. So, in today's video, this was a fun one. We had a few problems, we had a few solutions, and we got the job done, though. So, we're uh, one of my buddies, Bugs Lawn Care. Shout out to Bugs Lawn Care. He uh, had an issue with one of the jobs, one of the customers, like, they originally... We're supposed to just cut down some trees and they're going to install a backyard and they did a bunch of landscaping and stuff which you'll see in the video. So in the video he didn't realize that the customer wanted all the stumps pulled and so he called me in. So I brought the mini excavator out there. We uh, dug up we dug up something like 70 stumps and so we cleared all that because we're installing a new backyard. Cleaned up all the brush, stacked all the wood and got the job done so yeah this video it's it's a pretty good one i mean we're just digging and tossing and ripping and pulling and pushing the best part of moving dirt these ones are always fun but yeah we got the 305 cat mini excavator out there and then we brought the bobcat and we did some harley raking and stuff so yeah let's get to the video Here's a couple tips for you. This is one thing I always like to do when I mean like, I don't know, I would do it regardless, but like when I was first starting out and stuff, I mean, we ain't afraid to work until the neighbors or somebody tells us not to work. I mean, if it's getting dark, I installed a bunch of LED lights, we're gonna work. That's, I mean, you have to. When you're small and you're trying to survive and build your business, I mean, you gotta put in the dedication. That's why a lot of people don't succeed. They're not willing to do that extra effort, I mean. I see new business owners going home at 5 o'clock and stuff, and I'm like, man, when times get tough, you're going to wish you would have stayed later to so you could, I mean, stack them jobs in as many as you can. It's just, it's my tip for the day. So, yeah, in this video, you guys can see, I mean, these freaking stumps got one heck of a root system to them. We got some white pine and then uh, some red pine, Michigan. I think they're native to Michigan, not 100% sure. But they got one crazy root system, and they're a pain in the butt to dig up. I mean, once you, I don't know, it's nice being in sand at least. That's one plus. I mean, easy to dig in. But once you get a good system going where, I mean, you dig around them, get the roots up a little bit, and then you kind of just pop the tree back and forth, you can kind of just pop the whole root system loose. It's crazy because they, they grow down in the center like one giant root. You can see it and kind of some of these stumps that we're tossing one giant one that just starts growing straight down into the earth and it makes it a little tough to dig up i mean these things are locked right in that's for sure but yeah you can see i mean we're kind of just going over some game plan what we're going to do they had a bunch of these trees cut down and stuff i wished i mean in my my eyes i mean i wish that they wouldn't have even cut the trees down Cause it's a lot easier to push over a full tree because it'll force the root system up and i mean you're getting the same results for what they're doing with them these trees aren't really valuable i mean it's a soft pine i mean maybe good for some firewood like outdoor firewood and that's about it i mean but other than that these trees i mean they don't they're not they don't have a whole lot of uses out by us or value so yeah i wish they would have just not come down i could have just pushed them right over and got on our way but, yeah, you can see just the massive amount of stumps here. I mean, never ending. But, yeah, we'll uh, let you guys watch some more of the video and see. So, yeah, a few of the problems we ran into on this job. We're a total of 
three different hoses. So, Bugs, Tristan, the kid running the cat's kid steer, he, uh, he was using our grapple and stuff, and the way he had the hoses routed, he uh, had a couple issues. He pinched the hoses, blew both hydraulic lines, had to stop job, go get those replaced. And then I was running the, the mini, the cat, and I was tossing a few trees, and one of the branches hit just right, broke the hose that goes to the, to the thumb, had to go get that repaired. Smashed the fitting, had to tap it out of the cylinder. Always fun. I mean, he popped the track off on the cat skid steer. Had to put that back on. Wish we would have got some more footage of that. And then he also, some of the, like, I love the fact that cat has ride control on their skid steers and stuff. But I wish they just guarded and protect a lot of the stuff on the side of their tracks and on the the like on the inside where like they have the wiring for the ride control and all that stuff so he had like a it was like a four by four round rock get stuck up between the undercarriage and the track and it busted the the hydraulic line that goes to the high flow high speed for the skid steer and that one was a pain in the butt I had to pop the cab up um completely take a bunch of shit off just to get at this hose and replace it but it's all good we got her done that was just a few of our problems on the job and uh just wanted to share that with you guys so yeah you can see we're having to make our trail a little bit wider so we're where we're stacking all this wood in the back the the owners just wanted to, like all the the lengths from the trees that were cut down they're cutting like 20 30 foot sections 15 foot sections all over the place the guys who came in and cut the trees down, I don't understand what they were doing, but it's beside the point. But, yeah, you can see, like, we pushed down these couple trail trees for the trail so much faster. If we would have done that instead of having to dig those stumps up, this job would have went way quicker. It ended up taking us, like, two, three days to dig up all these stumps and clean up the whole yard and stuff. And, yeah, it's just, you got to, it's hard sometimes when you don't have control over the job to manage it the way you want to but ended up working out good and happy to get in there and help bugs out and get her done i don't know if you guys can see it real well but yeah uh, it's a new house build turned out really nice i mean you kind of see in the background um how we installed like a bunch of that gray slate all the way around the house for like the in, inside the edging turned out really nice that gray slate rock for landscaping is awesome Stuff looks good. Installed a bunch of trees and plants and stuff and did the whole nine yards. Made it look real nice. It's always fun doing a new build just because everything's new and it just looks so crispy and nice. It's always fun. Welcome back to Dirtworks TV. Out here with Bugs Lawn Care. Bugs Lawn Care. Today we are hardly raking any lawn. Finishing up his job that he's on. He's got some nice gray slate rock installed. All the landscaping concrete. Nice two tones. Cleared all these trees. This was once a forest. Now it's a nice beautiful backyard. We're going to hop on the Harley right here and get this thing finished up. So yeah, you can see we're, we're hardly, hardly raking this piece of property here for the final touches. Man, those things work so awesome. Just the way that they till up the ground and they grab like all the little sticks and rocks and stuff. I mean, they just, they give the nice final touches to where it looks perfect. You can see how nice it turned out and like the area that we cleared in the back and stuff and all the work that we did in the front. It turned out really nice and I mean... Like, you can only do so much by grading it with your bucket and stuff when you're done. And, like, especially for a new build like this because they're going to hydro-seed it. The 
Harley rake is definitely the way to go for getting that nice, fluffy, good dirt that you're going to want when you're going to hydro seed that so you get some good grass growth and it looks real nice. But yeah, I mean, you can see running this thing, kind of watch how we did it and the pattern we went. And if you guys got any suggestions or, I mean, comments on how, how you would do it or what you would have done differently, I, I, please, by all means, I'm always open to advice how to do these jobs better and quicker. And uh, if you guys get a chance, don't forget, I'll leave the link below. Check out some of our new merch that we have in our merch store. I just ordered a whole bunch of it. <clears throat> so... Yeah, we'll be doing some giveaways with the merch and stuff too, so don't don't forget to check back in and then I can kind of, I mean, I'll let you guys know when we'll be doing those giveaways with some of that merch and yeah, hopefully it turns out good hopefully you like it and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button and don't forget to come back to Dirtworks TV to watch all of your excavating needs. We'll be here and we'll be smashing these jobs all summer long. Have a good one.